Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and none. And it's your boy, Dan Lab. All right, welcome back. This is day two of the revival. See, next week yeah. we're just gonna have regular service. Yeah. Because you know, you know how you gotta hit it just with gonna a regular We're gonna have Wednesday night service. That's all we're gonna have, man. So, um, sorry this is coming out later than normal, but you may be able to hear we're in the middle of a freaking storm. We were trying yeah. to wait for it to pass over, but. It ain't. Besides, cool. right, so we're gonna go we're on with it. We're gonna go on with it. We're gonna go on with it. All right. So part two of Greenleaf. Let me go ahead and say this. If you haven't joined the Church of Calvary, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to join. Yeah. But what you gotta do is you have to pay tithe here. Yeah. We don't have non-tithing members. Yeah, because we need to pay for this new streaming service that we that y'all seeing us on right Hello. now. Hello. So go ahead and hit the hey. thumbs up button. That's how you um you do your tithe and offering over here. Hit exactly. the thumbs up button. If you hit the thumbs down button, go ahead and leave right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. God darn it. But anywho, share this video on all your social media networks and we will appreciate that. So, the space between, okay. Continuing off the back of what we did, we said last night, Bishop is home, but as we can see, he's still in the doghouse because he's sleeping on one of them hard beds that he said feels like, the equivalent of sleeping on the coconuts. coconuts. <laughs> I said, okay, Bishop. So Bishop tries to ease his way back into his marital bed, and first lady was like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. this ain't what we about to so do. So you better go to the couch, player. I said, okay, Bishop. That, that didn't work, so he ended up having to go to the couch and whatnot. So, the next morning, they're preparing, preparing for, <laughs> the, you know, for the vow series that they do every year. It's kind of like a couple series that they do. Um, and they pick topics. He'll do some and she'll do some. The whole exchange of who's going to take what topic was hilarious as heck and shady as heck. <laughs> Bishop said he's going to take the crazy side. She yeah. was going to take the side about trusting and Respect fidelity, yeah, respect <laughs> and, fidelity <laughs> and all of this. So Gigi was like, you know what? Y'all still going to do this series? Good for y'all. You know, because she knows what's going on. Why in the world did she open her mouth up? Uh, what do you mean? Good <laughs> for us, Gigi. <laughs> First of all, you need to stop worrying about our business and worried about your own little sexual infidelities that you're doing around, this, around town with Come Darius on, and Come everybody ahead. else knows about it. Come ahead, wee <laughs> hours in the morning. I said, what was, what did she say in season, was it season one? Coming in here wet and road hard? Yeah, like yeah, road yeah. Hard? <laughs> I said, okay, first say I'm sick of you and this whole Gigi riding. So told Gigi, you worry about your own skit and let me and your father worry about his skit. And she didn't even say nothing wrong. I said. She was trying to give them some, some positive reinforcement. Be like, you know, I know y'all are going through and everything. But I'm glad that y'all putting your differences to the side. For the Lord. And doing work. the work of the Lord. But nah. Uh-uh, Lady May, that's not good enough. Cause she turned said, it all around. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Gigi, we know last night, we saw that Gigi, she got a good eye on Coochie Cross, right? On Miss Rochelle Coochie Cross. So she decided what I'm going to do. I'm gonna keep my enemies closer. Uh -huh, so she called her up and said, you know, I need your help on something. So Coochie Cross comes through and they start talking about, you know, trying to raise money for this legal fund for women that have been, you yeah. know, victimized, rape, you know, assault, all that good stuff. So as they're talking, you know, they, they doing what they do. And Rochelle was like, you know, I'm so glad that two powerful women can work together because in a time like this, women don't seem to be able to stick together yeah yeah without somebody being um what's what's the word i'm looking for intimidated by one another exactly yeah okay that's okay i see you coochie cross uh -huh. so coochie cross leads from the meeting with Randy. Gigi and runs straight into bishop <laughs> so she tried to put the smack that hold on hold on uh-oh I feel it, but I can't see it. That donut. <laughs> and we at church, so I got to get this thing right. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. It ain't mine, don't matter. So, um, run straight into Bishop, and you know, she's giving him the googly eyes and all that good stuff. And basically, okay, where you at in your marriage? Bishop said, Miss Cross, I'm back home. I'm now. back at home. I ain't at the uh, Belmont Hotel no more. So, um, good luck to you. Her face broke. I said, Bishop, you ain't got to be that nasty with it. You did leave the girl Cause, on. Cause look, 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 she coming there talking about some Bishop, you know, getting right expensive to get in that little single room. You need to go on upgrade and get a suite. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So then, you know, Rochelle, Miss Coochie Cross was like, oh, okay, checkmate. She bumps into the first lady. She was like, oh, first lady. How was everything going with Zora? I said, hey, And how was she settling in at the house? First lady was like, how, uh, she how the fuck? Did you know anything about my family? This is my personal yeah. business. Who told you that? They weren't on the church announcement. Exactly. So how did you know I about said, this? I said, oh, hell, Bishop, you done, you done fucked up again. So she was like, you know, it's really hard sometimes when you get into, um, a situation like that, getting back home and getting settled in, because most of the times they'll just end up running away again. And first lady said, I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, I wouldn't, I haven't been privy to that. I stay in my house and I fight. I said, <laughs> I said, you know what? Good try, first lady, because you saying that to Coochie Cross, but that ain't really what you're doing nah. behind closed doors. Nah. That ain't what you're doing. Um, so I said, okay. Let's, let's go ahead with that one. So, Jacob had told Clarissa, listen, we have this new members meeting coming up. I'm going to need you to be there and I'm going to need you to be there on time. Yeah. Well, she ended up having this uh, meeting with these, these concerned parents and she was not able to get to this meeting. Hey kids, some bougie black folk. That was trying to flex the fact that yeah. we are great donators to this establishment. So I know you can pull some strings and make some things happen. See, I, I got low tolerance for people like that. See, if you're going to be a giver, you got to be a giver with no strings attached. You can't be a giver hoping to come back one day to collect. Hmm. I don't let me. I, she should have told him, say, you know what? Take your kid. So, I appreciate your donation, but this day forward, don't give another dime mm -mm. And put to your, this place. And get, put your kid into public school. Exactly. So... Next thing we see, Clarissa gets to the church and the meeting is actually being dismissed. Mm -hmm. OV. And Jacob and Miss Cooch, I mean, not Coochie, Miss Keisha Cole. Miss Keisha Cole. Skanks. Don't basically held this meeting together. so And they were so connected, so much so, that one of the ladies thought. That Keisha Cole Skanks was the, the first, first lady. lady. So when <laughs> Clarissa popped up, she was like, oh, you a new member at this church too? I'm the first, the first lady. lady. Oh, I uh, thought you were, were the first. I said, oh. I said, well, if you present it like a duck, God knowing it in the eyes of the congregation, yes, it's a duck. duck. So obviously y'all made her think that with the end of that meeting, you might not have said it. I said, but okay. She, yeah. <laughs> okay. So then, Later on, we see a scene where, um, oh, um, Keisha Cole Skanks came up in Bishop, oh, not Bishop, Jacob's office, and she presented, what was it, um, some kind of proposal. Some, yes, I it was, uh, um, the payroll report. Yeah, yeah. So she presented the payroll report, and Jacob was like, you know, so how nice of you to, you know, give me something you like this. so blessed to have you here. And she was like, you know what? I've seen what some people have done to first ladies after they're not in their position no more. So I'm so thankful that y'all kept me around. So I'm going to do my best to keep things right and tight around here. So then they get to talking and I seen Jacob look at her butt. Yep. And fast forward, that Keisha Cole Skanks started talking about her beauty supply store jewelry. Yeah. Talking about something. I have a really nice jeweler. And he can get you right. And give you some champagne. Because what had All happened was... All the same during on time. <laughs> she walked up on Jacob looking at some female clothing online. And she was like, uh, you get ready to go through a lifestyle change? He was like, nah, I'm looking I'm for looking something for my wife. wife. Yeah. So she said, let's go. We're going to pick out some jewelry. They get over there and they pick out their most bougetto <laughs> necklace that I have never seen in my life. I said it has... You just have to have an acquired taste for that. Because I said it looked like a whole bunch of gold with a whole bunch of white hairs around it. That's what yeah. it looked like. I didn't like it. But it Jacob. It real big too. And we know it was really freaking expensive. But you want to know what Jacob did? He bought it. Yep. And I said, but you better have bought that for your wife. But you know Clarissa don't like that. That ain't even her style. Yeah, that's why I was like. Did you that buy it for style. her with the intent of buying it for her? First Lady Keisha Coles? Well, yeah, back over there at the house because Sophia had came over there to visit Zora the weed explorer. 
She stole the tie money, y'all. I, I can't get over it. I, yeah. I talked about it last night. Well, she's over there. She stole the large money. So Jacob comes home. He eventually, after um, Zora and um, Sophia finished talking, because that guy doing Zora don't stole the money because she wants Sophia to go get her a prepaid phone so yeah. that she could call Isaiah the church player. Somebody said, go in there and get me one of them twenty dollar Walmart phones and get me a uh, three hundred and twenty well, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> He said, I'm about ready to die up in here. I feel you though. So Sophia said, no, I'm not I'm not fitting to do it. Because you're fitting to call like, Isaiah. And, and I ain't doing it. And she, he hits you. Yes, that's a good cousin right there. That's a real good cousin. You keep them ones real close. Exactly. So then, Clarissa had noticed when Jacob came home, he had the smell of alcohol on his breath. Uh-huh. Well, she was concerned about it, but she waited till the company had left because even Charity was over there. And she got up in his hall pass and was like, hold on. Where, Where you been? You yeah. And you smell like alcohol. Um, what's going on? Cause TGI Fridays ain't running a uh, 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 <laughs> right now. So he said, "I love you. You work really hard to keep stuff together." I said, "All right, here you go with your manipulation bullshit, Jacob." And pulls out that goddamn ugly necklace, and she said, mm, oh. "That's different." Yeah, that's different. Thank you. But we gotta remember. That Keisha Coles was on his phone before he went to the room. And I said, I'm oh, like, did what? she just send him a picture? And, and 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 on top of that, why did he take a picture of her? With his... I think she took a picture of her guy doing self and sent it. You think it was she did? That's what I'm thinking. So she said, oh, meet me in the bedroom. I said, well, that ugly necklace got him some some clean draw that <laughs> night. But in the room. So then we got Clara. Miss Clara, the Powerball winner, that they trying to shake down for this $2 million. They got her over at the house. The whole scene was shady as heck. Yeah. Interesting as heck. Lady was like, you know what? Mm, that something ain't right in here. There's a spirit in here that yeah, ain't quite right. Yeah, the Lord right. is showing me something that ain't something ain't right. She said, I'm not knowing. And them jokers started sweating bullets, boy. And <laughs> then she said, I know what it is. You don't change up the paintings <laughs> there. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so eventually, they ended up telling this lady why they invited her over here to the house. Listen, we, we, we got tax problems again. Again? She said Mac was supposed to take care of it, and you know that we would never ask you if we didn't really yeah, need it. She said, hold on. This is what I was asking you. Y'all ain't got no money. Y'all ain't got it. The bitch was like, well, we got about, you know, a couple hundred, a couple hundred, hundred thousand dollars on then it. We, but, then we can put it on it. <laughs> we ain't got no two million dollars. Days were tough around here. We ain't got no liquid like that. Yeah. I, said, I like how you said that, bitch. We ain't got, <laughs> no, no, no. got no liquid like yeah. that. She should have said, well, go and sell this house and get the liquid. Hello. Huh? Oh, somebody in the comments was asking, like, how did they get popped for, you know, the taxes and all that good stuff? Yeah. And what I said was, Although the tax um, the church is tax exempt, you still have to turn in documentation to the IRS to let them know what you've actually brought in for you the got year. Going in and, going out. and if you yeah. have clergy on staff, yeah, they got pay tax. They got the, those bad. They got to the check out. Mm -hmm. They got they gonna put them two up against each other and be like, yep. they said they paid you such and such, but why you only pay taxes on such and such right here? Exactly. See, see, that's what happened. Somebody's so, yeah. skit didn't add up. So now the, to the record. So it, it so what it pretty much happened is Bishop been getting some money I need to take. Hello for his anniversary. Yeah, his something birthday. like that. He ain't paying taxes on. So so they own the see they don't come after when you owe them like two, three hundred dollars. They come after you when you in that caliber when it's millions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello? And look, don't be fooled. When y'all pay tithes and offers to y'all church. And y'all have them have that little thing at the end of the year, and you get, file your taxes, mm -hmm. and they know what ta what church you go to, and that tax um ID goes in there. Yep. They tallying how much mm -hmm. is coming how up through that, that church. church. Yep. So if you claim that you only made hundred and fifty thousand dollars in time and offering that year, but we got people claiming taxes, and they adding up to about three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Houston, we so have a problem. We got a we got a big problem. Yeah. And guess what? If that's going on, they coming after your pastor. They coming after your pastor. <laughs> they coming after your pastor. I'm telling you, you be in church one day, the police show up, take everything. <laughs> we need to cease the records. Yep. Finance ministry. Yep. <laughs> what? Don't be telling. Don't. Oh. You, what? Why are you? Whoa. 
Yeah, yeah that was stunning right there. That's the Lord getting us back for making fun of that. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, I thought I was gone. Woo. I thought somebody had shot me. God, don't. Let me hurry up and finish this here. God, doing it. Where yeah. I'm at. So, after all of this skit had happened, right, Gigi had had enough. So, she goes ahead and she confronts her father about Coochie Cross, all the stuff that she has been witnessing and seeing. Yeah. And Bishop was like, Gigi, stay out my God doing business. I got this. I'm handling it. Just leave me alone. Stay out your mama's and I business. And Gigi was like, no, 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 no. Mama is upstairs crying her heart out <laughs> because of what you did. And now you mean to tell me that you messing around with this girl? What is going on? Bishop said, see, you don't know what you think you know. Gigi. Yeah. Your mama slept around with Lana. I said, oh. She done told he cheated on me. She cheated it. on me. I said, and, and said, um, would you move and put his feet up and start drinking the rest of his brown look? <laughs> so Gigi is looking like, what? what the fuck? So Gigi marches her tail upstairs and confronts the first lady. And which and I would have did the same thing. Hell. She was drunk as hell. Tore her from the floor. Of the she was drunk. That's the way she was in there with Lionel. The same way. Tore her from the floor. Of. So, first lady was like, um... First of all, basically, don't come in here and ask me skit about my guy doing personal life because your stuff ain't clean either. You know how they do. Yeah. They gonna they, go they always right. They ain't never wrong. So now Gigi was like, what in the everlasting hell is going on around the house? I don't found out my daddy cheated with my aunt. And now mm -hmm. I don't found out that my mama don't cheated on Lionel, who's who my daddy. Yeah. But, <laughs> She don't want to talk about it, and he don't want to talk about and it. And at the same time, they judging me for leaving for 20 years and going over to get a little piece from Darius every now and then. <laughs> which which huh? is good, Tyler. Going to get a little piece from Darius every now and then. You good compared to what they doing. So then they really got into it. Gigi said, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, Mom. What we not going to do. You not gonna sit up in here and talk to me crazy. Huh? What you not gonna do is make me feel dirty, make me feel less than, or, or, make, all or make me feel skit, bad. Uh huh. All the skit that you don't let go on underneath this roof up in this here house. She said, I'm done. I'm, I am done. That's right. I Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave here right now to go back and get another piece. Yeah, hey, hey, goodbye. I said, Gigi has been checking everybody this episode. She don't check the daddy. Uh huh. She don't check the mama. She even checked Darius because. Just because she gave him a, a, um, some coochie a few minutes ago, he tried to manipulate her into staying the night. Talking about some, don't be a hypocrite like the rest of them. I kind of felt what he was saying, though. He was like, but see, why you going to act see, like this ain't what we doing? What I, we doing? Can, I can call them hypocrites, but you can't call them hypocrites because you on the outside. You on the outside. So she said, oh, thank you for making this decision easier, easier. for me. So she put her clothes on. And but she you know what she home. did? She pulled one of his numbers. See? So every time she asks him something he don't like, you know what? I don't want to fight. I'm gone. I'm gone. So I told you I won't go to church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then Gigi ends up having another meeting with Miss Coochie Cross. Checking somebody else. She asked Coochie Cross, she said, you know what? I have a question to ask you. What is going on between you and my father? So here come Coochie Cross. I mean, she just got real, uh, real, real defensive very and defensive. offended. Yeah. I said, oh, so we're going to play this game. And she was like, after the fun that we just had, after what I spoke to you about yesterday, about women being able to work together without being intimidated by the power of another. And this, this is what you present me with? Oh, my God. And she walked out like, how dare you? Got in the hallway and did that little small little smirk. Uh -huh. And I looked in the office and said, Gigi, don't you fall don't for you it. Don't you fall don't for you? it. Gigi was like, got her. Uh-huh. She came yeah. back in and she was like, we're not going to let the devil win. We're going to go ahead and work this thing See, out. See, you the devil. I said, yeah. Both, <laughs> all y'all got some devil in y'all. Yeah. So they're going to work together. But Gigi know what she's working with now. So Gigi said, I don't like this ghost, but I'm going to milk her. But what had been tripping me out, Bishop told First Lady, said, listen. I'm about sick and tired of you bringing this Rochelle Cross thing in my face. Because she eventually had to confront him about, how does this girl know 
about Zora running away. I know how she know because that night that you didn't sleep here, you slept at the Biltmore uh -huh. with her. Yep. And y'all doing pillow talk. So that's how she know about my daughter and my own personal business. <laughs> so what what else have you told us, girl? Bishop said, what you ain't gonna do is talk your way into having having me having an imaginary relationship. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> that ain't what we fitting to do here. You don't talk yourself into an imaginary man. Yeah. That I'm I ain't in I, ain't in a man. I said, Bishop, but we gonna say act like you ain't did it before. Yeah. That that it's above you. Yeah. Yeah. You you might not have went all the way with Coochie Cross. You already fell with her up here. Yeah. You, you just you just said yeah. It's, it's and according to the Bible, if you already lost that, see, 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 see right now it's a it's an intangible affair. But it, but after a while, it can become tangible. You keep on messing around with them. Shot you stay too, yeah, yeah, hey, you stay too close to the fire, bitch, and you gon' get burned, play out. Hey! <laughs> so, Charity. Charity's having this whole big thing. She doesn't want to leave baby Nathan with, with the father. He's like, I'm a good father. You know I'm a good father. Go ahead and leave the baby with me. I have so many mixed emotions about that because he did leave crazy and wrong, but we understand that he had a whole lot of skit going yeah, on. A whole lot so of I'm not going even on. gonna forgive him for the way that he left. But yeah. at the same time, Charity, you don't left him to babysit this baby. Well, I ain't even gonna say babysit because it's your, his freaking child. Child, yeah. Before, while you go out there and do whatever the buck you wanted to do, yeah, so now all of a fine. sudden he wants to do it on his. Uh -uh. I miss and he brought up a good point. It ain't him, him out on the baby out on the road being passed around to these strangers that you don't know what the heck they doing to the child. Kevin is the best choice. So if you want to follow your dreams, that's the best thing you can do. Until you saw what you call it. Yeah, came over to the house and who over there bringing groceries like like they getting ready to get settled there for a good weekend. Yeah. Aaron. So she was like, oh, he lives here? Aaron was like, no, I'm just, just here, here for a couple of days. days. He had his line just lined line up. Line right on up. And they say, we know. She called Mr. Jabari and said, tell the singing come. disciples, I, I ain't going to get back on this road. I'm staying home because I'm not leaving my baby with him. See, Charity, that's bucked up. Yeah. You should have went up. on. Now Jabari don't even want you no more. So what's so funny is, it seemed like he was sleeping with you to keep you on the road. Because huh. <laughs> the moment you said you couldn't come through, he hung the, hung the phone up on you. I don't trust him no way. Huh? But anywho, so at the end of the episode, we saw Bishop was on the phone having a <laughs> setting up some calendar dates <laughs> with somebody. And we saw First Lady march through the dough and the dough shook off the hinges. Yeah. <laughs> Put them on hold. I said, Put them on hold, Bishop. Put them on hold. Do it now. I said, um, she said, you slept with my sister? I said, is she drunk? Yeah, Bishop said, here we go with that again. my sister? Now you were messing with Coochie Cross at the Biltmore Hotel, and you were sitting there telling him my business about my granddaughter Zora being missing all up and through this city, and now you don't told my deepest only, God, only, God, she only said her secret. only secret. I was like, that's bullshit. Don't tell my only secret. She said, I only committed this sin because you hurt me so bad. I said, and it go. was at one time that I cheated on you. But I promise you, after this tax stuff is over with, I'm divorcing your butt. Black. <laughs> I said, I said, here we go. Here we go with this boom. Walked out and said, James. Don't leave your person on hold too long. I said that's that thin line. See, yeah, hate. yeah. She so, clicked off. See, see, that's that's she. That's the part I don't like about Lady May. Every, all her skit is never her fault. No, it's always so. If if I go and kill you, it was your fault because you pissed me off and sent me in that direction. You slept with Lionel because you wanted to sleep with Lionel. Regardless. Regardless. It, it's, it's, it's too much. And I believe it was more than once. Because you was a little bit comfortable approaching him at the house. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just when saying. you gonna tell Gigi that that's her pappy? Yeah. He the pappy. And earn your brother. Or what if somebody else is the pappy that she had an affair with? Because they ain't the only secret. 
I'm taking that right now. I always say the most judgmental people are yeah. those that have the most to hide. Yep, exactly. And on that note, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty self. Two, two up, up, two down. Holla. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Ew.